Hey YouTube, it's Robo13 and I'm going to be showing you today how to get numeric battery just like that up in the top right hand corner how to change your carrier or the iPod symbol or anything that's up there in the left hand corner I'm also going to be showing you how to get the uh, the five the five icons or the five apps going across the five on the dock and I can also show you how to get five going up and down okay so you can do a lot of cool stuff with your iPod or iPhone or iPad or anything that you have. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do, I'm going to show you how to get the numeric battery first. So you're going to open Cydia. You have to have a jailbroken iPod. Open Cydia. Click on search and type in SB settings, okay? And then click search. Scroll down to the S and right there. SB settings. It's from the Big Boss repo, so you all have it on there already. Let's click on that and install that. Right. And once you once you install it, it's going to respring, and then you're going to have to slide to unlock, and it won't look like there's anything on. There won't be an app, and there won't be anything in the settings. What you have to do to uh, get it to work is you slide your finger across the top status bar, and this will pop down the screen. It'll look a little bit different because I changed the icons and stuff, but this is what you'll get. So you just want to slide your finger across the top like that. And then you're going to want to click on the more setting. All right, and you're going to get this. And then you're going to want to scroll down and go to system options. Click on that. And then right here, you'll have numeric battery, numeric Wi-Fi, GSM, and kill switch. Just turn on battery if you want it, Wi-Fi if you want it, and you can turn on anything else if you want it. So that's how you get the battery and the Wi-Fi. I like using the Wi-Fi because then I can see what number um, is best, like where in my house it's best. But anyway, so that's how you get numeric battery on your top screen. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to get, how to change your carrier to whatever you want it to say. So you're gonna to wanna to go into Cydia, search for this app called Change Change Carrier, okay? All one word, Change Carrier. It's from the Big Boss repo. You're going to want to install that. The only thing is that this only works on the 4.2.1 firmware on the iPod and the iPad. Um, but if you have an iPod or an iPad and you want to change the carrier logo up there to whatever you want, just install this. And then you're going to get an app that says it right down there, carrier. Okay. Right there. You're going to want to click on that. It is really easy, really, really easy. You just go up here. See, mine says David Taylor. So if I change this to Robo13, I'm just going to type in Robo13 right there. And then it says, enter your text, click on carrier. So then I'm just going to go up here, click carrier, and this is going to pop up. You should do a respin. Do it now. Say yes. And respring your iPod or iPhone or iPod or iPad, I mean. And a respring is to just unlock it. And now, up in your top left hand corner, it should say what you typed in. Now it says Robo 13. Alright, it's just as easy as that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get five icons in the dock, just like I have. Five icons going across and five icons going up and down. So you're going to open Cydia. Again, you have to have a jailbroken iPod to do this. You're going to go to search, type in F-I-V-E, so type in 5, don't type in the number, type in F-I-V-E, space, icon, and it'll be the top one right there, 5 icon dock. You're just going to install that if you want the, uh, the 5 in your dock. And then if you want the 5 columns going across, type in F-I-V-E, Put the dash, and that'll be the first one that pops up. Five column springboard. as a fifth column to the springboard. So then you'll have five icons in your dock and five icons going across the columns. If you want five rows going up and down, type in five I, and then you'll have five I rows right there. So five, the letter I, and then you can type in rows if you want to finish it, or you can just click this right here and install it. And then you'll have... You'll have five icons in your dock, five icons going across, and five icons going up and down. 
I don't use the up and down one just because it, and I don't like I don't like the look of it. So that's that. And you don't have to go into Winterboard or anything like that. It just automatically will do it. It'll respring your iPod and it'll show up like this. I am running the 4.2.1 firmware on my iPod Touch 4th generation. Right there. This is jailbroken. This is an untethered jailbreak so I can turn it on, turn it back off, or turn it off, turn it back on. Uh, on Windows, I did it on my Windows computer. And if you haven't seen that, you should check out my video so you can jailbreak and then do all this cool stuff with it. Um, if you guys want to see any more tweaks or anything like that, just let me know. Just post it in the comments or send me a message. Uh, remember to comment this video, like it so other people can see it, and uh, subscribe to me for new videos. Alright, thanks guys.